Namaste and welcome to Very Gentle Hatha Yoga with Priyanka. To start with, please make yourself comfortable with your sit bones either on a cushion or on your mat. You could also do this in a chair. And if you're in the chair, you'd have your feet flat on the ground, but your sit bones on the chair. So whatever works for you. And I'd like to then invite you to take a second to scan your body so that you are touching base or connecting with how your body feels this beautiful Monday morning. And then gently close your eyes if you have not already closed them. And give your brother, give your breath a color. When you give your breath a color, you are able to use it to ground, to connect and to go deeper into your yoga poses. So I will give you a few seconds to give your breath a color. And setting your intention for today's practice, whatever that might be, if that means cultivating gratitude, patience, self-compassion, self-love, and then when you're ready. I'd like to invite you to gently open your eyes, bring your palms in between your knees and your hips. So in the middle of your thighs, palms are either flat or you can do cupcake fingers. But when you inhale, lifting the right arm, exhale to the left, place your palm flat on the mat, bend the elbow in towards your body. Keep the sit bone rooted. Okay, so don't lift up and breathe. And then we're going to release this on a breath. And then inhale, lift your left arm. Exhale to the right, sliding the right hand a little further away, or you can keep it close to your body. And we're just doing these gentle stretches to release tension from the morning. Getting the blood flowing in a very gentle, relaxed way. And then inhale, lift the right arm, bring it back down. On your second side stretch, I'd like to invite you to inhale, lift the right, exhale to the left, and this time, focus on the next three breaths in and out of your body, so counting them. Eyes can be closed. Light smile on your lips. And then inhale. 
Exhale, bring the right arm down. On your next breath in, lifting your left arm. Exhale as you get into the side stretch. No weight on the palm. Counting three breaths, eyes opened or closed. And then, of course, you can breathe in and out from the nostrils. Or you can breathe in and out from the nostrils and out from the mouth. And lift your left arm back down to the ground. From here, I'd like to invite you to do a little bit of a twist. So how we're going to do this twist is stay in Sukhasana or your comfortable cross-legged position, whichever works for you. I like to sit with my legs side by side. And then what we're going to do is take the right hand, place it on the outside of the left thigh. Take your left hand and as you swivel behind, exhale. It's a gentle twist. You can use the right hand against the thigh to give you a deeper twist. Keep on breathing. But do scan to make sure that your back is straight. And this is Parivrita Sukhasan. You may or may not keep want to keep a block or the cushion behind you. If you find that you're leaning back and compromising the straightness of your spine. So my bolster is right here. I don't know if you can see it. Or a block. And I'm just using it to keep me lifted straight. So holding for two more breaths. Notice the difference in your breathing in the twist. And then on your third inhale, come back to the center. Exhale left on right. Place your right hand behind your body on the block. Keeping the back straight, eyes open or closed. Focusing on the next three cycles of your breath. And release. So if you've had breakfast today, you might want to do this in a very gentle way. So the second seated stretch I'd like to do is have you lift your feet up, keeping the knees bent, lower your left and then the right knee or the right and then the left knee, whichever works for you. Now, I'm going to just angle so that my knee is sort of in line with my hips. If you don't do that, that's fine. It's not going to um, change how you feel. You'll notice you're on the left side of your sit bone. So now we're going to transition into Bharatvaj's twist, which is the second variation I wanted to do. So you're going to Keeping the back straight, bring the left hand again on the right thigh. Exhale into your twist. You can use that block or bolster behind you so that your back is straight. Your right foot is either pointed back or to the side. Once you are in Bharatvaja's twist, turn the head in the opposite direction. So towards the right. Keep your head straight. Try not to tilt it left or right. And then I invite you to close your eyes. Notice if there's any tension on your right thigh and relax it with your breath. And then when you're ready, inhale back to center. Turn the feet this time so that your legs are off towards the left. 
this time my right side is at a slight angle which is fine keeping the back straight you'll notice you're mainly on the right sit bone and thigh so there's very little weight on the left side you're kind of slightly lifted up so on your next exhale swivel behind placing your left hand against your right thigh right hand is going behind your body right arm at the back is straight but soft so try not to lock the elbows and then once you feel like you've settled into the pose turn your head this time to the left now again keeping your neck gentle and release so inhale back to the center stretch your leg out shake them if you need to and then open them wide so we're going to transition into something called upavista konasan so you're going to slide your right arm along the length of your right leg exhale to the left now this is going to work on your quadratus lumbarum muscle so the side muscle over here. Head is comfortable looking at the wall in the distance. Take two deep breaths or normal breaths. Just notice and count the breath, feeling it more than the count. And then inhale, lift up, slide your left arm along the left leg, exhale. Notice the next two breaths in and out. and release so inhale lift yourself back up this time bringing the soles of your feet together in bada konasan so interlace your fingers around your toes and you can choose to stay straight or if you want you can bend your elbows press down into your inner thighs and remember to use that healing breath to visualize sending the breath to the inner right thigh so when you're ready and you feel like you're comfortable in the pose take a breath in and out and focus on sending that breath to the inner right thigh Visualize all the tension releasing from the right inner thigh in the form of a gray mist. And then when you're ready, visualize sending your breath, healing, colorful breath over to the left inner thigh. Releasing the tension. And then lifting your head and chest up. Stretch the legs out. Shake if you need to. And then the last thing I'd like to do is just a back bend. So I'd like to invite you to just come onto your stomach. Keeping the chin on the mat. 
bring your fingers underneath your shoulders and inhale, lift up the chest. no weight on the palm of your hands. In Bhujang Asan, you want to keep the navel on the ground. I technically call this low cobra, but cobra is always with the navel on the ground. And it's good for your internal organs. And then gently bring your chest on to the mat with your chin. Bring your arms alongside your body and we'll do locusts. So when you're ready, you can inhale, lift up chin, chest, arms and your legs. Gentle. You don't have to really push too much. This is strengthening the lower back. And then exhale back down. From here, I'd like to invite you to roll over onto your back. Now, as I said earlier, if you're in a chair, you can also sort of get off the chair and do this on the floor, but on a mat rather than the carpet. So we're going to do a little bit of bridging and a little bit of happy baby feet. So we'll start with keeping the chin tucked in, lifting your feet up, bending the knees, grabbing the soles of your feet, or if you're in the mood, you can even wrap your arms around your legs. So see which variation is something your body is in the mood for. And in the, we're just going to do happy baby feet for a few breaths. So staying here, and this is really good to lengthen your spine, open your hips, give you a stretch on the inner thighs, all the while protecting your knees, your ankles, and your lower back. And then releasing from happy baby feet, also known as Ananda Balasan. Place your feet on the mat, knees are bent, and we'll do Setu Bandhasan, the bridge pose. Another great pose to strengthen your hips. So when you're ready, inhale, lift the hips up, keep your chin relaxed, focusing on your heart center, your Anahata Chakra, breathing into it giving yourself much love and compassion. Noticing sensations on the thighs and the glutes. And then slowly exhale vertebrae by vertebrae back down. Stretch your legs out if you want. Shake them if you need to. Rotate your ankles, rotate your wrists, very important. 